Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, S&P 500 E-mini futures daily chart, and the bulls ripped it up yesterday. They made that low down in the 80 area. They bounced it off of the lower band. They made it back through a ton of critical areas uh, in the area of 2099. The daily, uh, not the daily pivot, the, the the weekly pivot, the monthly pivot. Uh, the pre-fed number and they were able to hold that area as support uh, throughout the afternoon and throughout the night they've made new highs today we've traded as high as 2109.75 and the last thing that's left in front of them now is the big enchilada the mid band on the daily chart okay this goes one of two ways either we see what we've seen so many times during the course of this uptrend and it breaks above the uh, the mid band and it essentially doesn't look back the the squeeze accelerates you have more shorts covering and then we start to talk about the potential to trade above 2134. the other option is what we've seen a couple times in the past we saw it september we saw it in october you've seen days where We've made violent moves off of lower bands to test mid band and then they accelerate down. So, you know, you can't count the bears out yet. They're on the ropes. They're just about done, but they've pulled it out before. So you have to kind of let this play out a little bit. Uh, the other time we saw it was here. Move to mid band and a rejection move to mid band and a hard rejection this is the move the bears want it's it's very difficult to say whether or not they have the 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 strength to do it this time they certainly have the bandwidth to get it done you know they we you had a four you had four days here the bandwidth only moved to 2.68 so the bands are still in compression mode at least on 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 what what i do and they have not had that big push down to get the bands up over four. All of that has to be weighed against whether the bears can actually push price down. Okay. And I will tell you, at 9 a.m. on those mornings, it felt just like this. We had a big day up. We were testing the mid band. And the issue was, can they, can they run it up or run it back down? I'm just giving you both sides of the coin. Okay. You have to, you cannot assume one scenario or the other. Traders who assume and are wrong tend to be roadkill. Don't be roadkill. Just keep your options open this morning. If it breaks above the mid band, I, I, would, I would discourage people from trying to chase or try to be stubborn with shorts above that area. Um, at the same time, if we start to reverse, the bulls have to prove to you that they can create a higher low and build upon it. And that, that would be a buying opportunity. The best place for that buying opportunity to occur would be in the area of the weekly and monthly pivot at 2098-2099. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us on Twitter at Prince and Trader. Check out the website, princeandtrader.com. Come check out the chat room. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.